biggest story of the day after PFI workers vandalized, resorted to arson and terrorized local residents following the NIA crackdown last week. Now the police is carrying out fresh raids on the PFI. Searches and arrests also being reported from eight states. With the lens of terror funding, several of the PFI leaders have been detained by the officials while some have also been arrested. Details coming in of the raids that are taking place at various locations. Remember, uh, the massive crackdown had been taken up by the NIA. Today, it is the state police and the ATS that is conducting raids in eight of these states. Uh, visuals coming in with the details also coming in of arrests that have been reported in various locations, including Karnataka, uh, the national capital, Maharashtra, as well as Assam. This is the second round of the raids that are being taken up on the PFI, the NIA continuing its crackdown on the radical outfit. The raids are being carried out at eight different states, with several of the PFI members also being arrested. Bhavtosh Singh is joining us live with the details on that. Bhavtosh, uh, this is the second round of raids being taken up on the PFI. This comes on the back of reports coming in of the centre moving towards a complete ban on the organisation. Uh, the previous day it was the NIA, today it is the ATS as well as the state police involved in these raids. Uh, yes, Pratibha. In fact, uh, if you just look at uh, the facts uh, of uh, the searches that started last week, uh, the NIA concentrated on uh, the top leadership who were involved in the uh, terror aspect uh, of also of uh, imminent attacks and also targeted killing of uh, prominent leaders. Uh, 45 of them were arrested by NIA and uh, four uh, top leaders of, uh, were arrested by enforcement directorate who were involved in terror financing. Now, uh, Today, the searches that are being carried out in eight states, eight or states, uh, that are being co uh, coordinated by central intelligence agencies, along with state police, and maximum number of arrests as of now have happened in Delhi. 30 of them have been arrested in Delhi. 21 arrests have taken place in Assam, and uh, 15 or 16 of them have taken place in Maharashtra. Those who have been uh, targeted this time around are PFI second rank, third rank leaders who generally are involved in organizing or recruiting the cadres of uh, PFI. The question now is when the stay, uh, when the center will uh, decide on banning PFI. Now it is now more or less uh, clear that imminent, uh, it's very imminent that PFI will be banned. And the question is when, uh, when it will be banned because. Uh, the manner in which these searches are being carried out, the manner in which the crackdown itself is happening, uh, it, it's clear indication that PFI will be banned. Uh, this time around, the state police help, uh, help is being taken because sources have said the network of PFI is so huge and it's so intricate, it's so large that state police is now being involved because uh, federal probe agencies' resources are very limited. They already have a task before them. Uh, they are questioning uh, the top leadership of PFI, uh, which is already in the custody of uh, Enforcement Directorate and NIA. They're concentrating on uh, questioning them and providing evidence to center before center goes ahead uh, with its uh, task of banning PFI. This time around, state police is involved. Uh, they're carrying out raids and searches in Madhya Pradesh, in Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka, other parts of the country, and also in Delhi, because PFI's uh, main offices are also located in Delhi. Okay, all right. So eight different states where the raids are being taken up, and we're getting multiple inputs on uh, what's happening there, the biggest coverage here on Times Now. Let's also talk about the national capital, because raids have been taken up in New Delhi as well. Uh, Priyank Krishab and Akanksha also joining us on the broadcast with the details on that. We'll also go across to our reporters across these states for the details. Uh, Priyank, coming to you first, on the raids that are being taken up in the national capital, the focus uh, seems to be in a few of the locations. If you can give us the details of the locations that are uh, specifically now under the radar of the state agencies. Yeah, Sadi Pratibha, it was an uh, uh, effort was made uh, since last evening uh, because uh, yeah, last evening we got tip off uh, that uh, they have been uh, mobilization of force uh, towards the northeastern part of the national capital as well as uh, the southeastern part. Although the officials were tight-lipped regarding that whether the operation is being carried out by any central agency by, or by the Delhi police. Uh, but right now the breaking input which we have confirmed uh, from the Delhi police uh, top cop that uh, 30 people have been arrested so far in connection with the raid which were carried out uh, in Jamia Idia, Nizamuddin, Shahin Bagh, uh, through Lokpuri and few parts of the um, uh, northeastern part of the natural capital. Uh, Bhaptosh has been telling us regarding the, uh, what has been the purpose because of which these raids have been carried out. 
Uh, but right now we have got confirmation regarding the biggest and the largest number of uh, arrests from any of these states uh, uh, across the country which has been done from Delhi. Uh, remember Pravez uh, who was the PFI head uh, unit of Delhi uh, was arrested by the enforcement decorate last uh, week and later to uh, that uh, there were several input which were also gathered uh, by multiple agency and in fact Delhi police special cell uh, was the first unit which arrested Pervez and Ilyas in connection with the uh, anti-CA uh, protest riot which happened here in the national capital to be very precise it happened uh, in the northeastern part of the national capital. Uh, following to this uh, since the backbone of the PFI was already hit uh, by the central agency the Delhi police was also gathering the input apart from sharing the input uh, with the central agency uh, they have also gone ahead and arrested uh, 30 individuals uh, who work in connection with PFI and several uh, radical outfits who were uh, trying to vitiate the atmosphere and not even that the connection with uh, you know various anti-national organizations were also found in the previous days uh, following to the evidence which was gathered uh, by the state police 30 people have been arrested so far in the national capital our colleagues have been reporting from various portions of the national capital where it shows uh, that the deployment still continues uh, what sources have been telling to me that the Delhi uh, the national capital is certainly on high alert uh, they have been very uh, you know strong precautionary measures which are still being used apart from the raid which were carried out late last night to avoid any kind of inconvenience or protest or any kind of uh, you know uh, fight in between the locals and the police uh, the raids were carried out in the late night remember when uh, the ACB of uh, Delhi uh, government had gone in Jamia to arrest uh, uh, those individuals uh, including uh, including Amanatullah Khan, uh, there were few heckling of the officers ha did also happen. Uh, so the Delhi police was certainly not in the position to have any kind of law and order situation. That's why these raids were carried out till late night. Uh, but now uh, the Delhi police commissioner, Mr. Arora, has confirmed it to the Times at work that 30 people have been arrested so far in the connection with the raids which were carried out over the night. And still, the national capital is still on the high alert. Uh, precautionary measures are being taken at several locations and heavy deployment of paramilitary forces and the Delhi police still continues at many of the police stations. Okay, all right. Uh, do stay on with us. The first, uh, ra first round of the raids were on the top brass of the PFI and now based on that intel, more raids being taken up. Let's also qu uh, quickly take in a word from Nibir because in Assam as well, big action being taken. This is based on not just the input but also, remember, the fresh searches uh, with 25 of the PFI workers being arrested. Nibir, what are the details of the PFI? PFI workers who have been arrested in Assam. Well, in the second phase of the raids that have occurred in the state, the raids have continued since last night and till now, as of now, 25 people have been arrested from different parts of the state, but this arrest have been coming primarily from the lower Assam part of the state and uh, especially Gualpara district with 10 arrests coming from that particular district. Well, uh, the searches have been ongoing and this is a follow-up of, uh, of, the, of the earlier arrests that have been done in the state a uh, few days back where 11 of the PFI cadres were arrested, but this arrest is particularly done for, uh, in the lower level uh, members of the of the PFI who were carrying out the organization in the lower Assam part of the state. And also, as per police sources, the main uh, aspect that the police have been investigating since the last few weeks is the murderous operandi of the PFI, especially in areas of the remote river islands of Brahmaputra. So uh, this is a follow-up of those leads and, and interrogation that have been done in the last few days. And based on those leads, the state police, the special branch, have arrested so far 25 people in the state uh, today itself uh, those are linked with the PFI and, and now they are the investigation continues and we can expect even more and more arrests and detention coming from the state of Assam. Okay, all right. Uh, getting more inputs on what's happening in the national capital. Uh, Rishabh, some of the raids in these locations are in very sensitive areas. They have been the epicenter of the anti-CAA protests of the uh, riots in the national capital. A lot of unrest that has been reported. Similarly, when the raids were taken up by the NIA as well, protests were reported from several of these locations. 
So, uh, Pratima, we are here in Nizamuddin. We are told that around 12 people have been arrested by Delhi police from here. As uh, Priyank and Bhavtosh were pointing out, uh, Delhi police commissioner has confirmed to Times Network that over 30, around 30 people from PFI have been arrested by different, uh, you know, cells of Delhi police. Uh, in Nizamuddin also, we are being told that uh, 12 among those 30 have been arrested from Nizamuddin. As of now, there has been no report of any protest or any heckling or any uh, uh, you know uh, issues have been reported yet the police did conduct uh, you know early morning raids and picked up people on the information that they got from the central agencies the federal agencies be it NIA or ED who have been interrogating the 106 PFI activists who have been arrested in last week in different from different parts of the country on the leads after the interrogation from them, further raids were conducted. This time around, Delhi police conducted raids here in Delhi, a different cells of uh, Delhi police, and 30 people have been arrested, out of which 12 are from here in Nizamuddin. Okay, all right. Uh, Akanksha, 30 people being arrested in the early morning raids, uh, and the raids were quite similar to what happened in the fresh round, uh, in the first round of the raids as well. Early morning raids that were taken up, 30 people now arrested. Uh, what are their details? And of course, uh, like previously, there was a lot of backlash. We saw protests, several of the PFI members hitting the streets, the top brass, now several linked members also being taken into custody. Well, absolutely. And I'm currently at Shaheen Bagh, which is quite a sensitive area and was also the epicenter of anti-CA and NRC uh, protest. Uh, now, Shaheen Bagh along with Nizamuddin, Trilokpuri, as well as uh, Rohini, some of the places here were raided in the VRs and as many as 30 people. This is a big number. They've been arrested by the Delhi police. As Priyank rightly pointed out, national capital is on high alert. Even in this area, in Shaheen Bagh, uh, CRPF officials, uh, rapid action force Delhi police uh, there's huge deployment of all these forces and just moments ago CRPF officials had left from this area for patrolling just to control the law and order situation as of now there have been no reports of any protest or backlash from the community here uh, after the arrest of the 30 PFI members but will have to seen uh, have to be seen as the day proceeds but this uh, the second round of raids come after uh, NINED uh, last week arrested as many as 106 members of the PFI and that's when terror financing as well as terror plot had emerged uh, and I had uh, linked PFI with Al-Qaeda and other entities from Afghanistan as well as Saudi Arabia and all, had also alleged in the FIR that uh, they were recruiting youth and uh, then sending, uh, radicalizing them and then sending them to Afghanistan for uh, terror training. These were the allegations by NIA. ED on the other hand had said that uh, 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 PFI which claims to be, uh, 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 which uh, was receiving funds from uh, Gulf countries uh, through Hawala transactions. So after these inputs, today raids were conducted uh, in national capital as well as many other uh, states all across the country. Here 30 people have been arrested and it will have to be seen what the association with PFIN is and what incriminating material is uh, uh, collected by the Delhi police from them. Okay, all right. Uh, let's also take a word from Deepak, who's joining us from Karnataka, uh, because PFI is said to be extremely active in the southern states. In fact, in the protests that were organized, uh, we saw violence unfolding in Kerala and a lot of uh, violence also being reported from Karnataka. Deepak, uh, how many of the PFI members have now been arrested in Karnataka? Several locations now, in fact, details also coming in of the searches increasing in Karnataka, more and more locations coming under the radar of the agencies. Well, Pratipa, in Karnataka in particular, the activities of the PFI is being monitored by the police for quite some time now, nearly half a decade. We should understand that, be it some of the political murders where PFI workers have been linked, or uh, be it, you know, the shooting that took place uh, in Mangaluru, uh, where there was violence reported outside a police station, and uh, eventually a, a riot sort of a situation, several um, names of uh, those linked to the PFI came to the fore. Uh, then, of course, we saw, you know, riots that took place in DJ Harli, KJ Harli, where, you know, uh, uh, several uh, SDPI, 
PFI, PFI uh, members were taken into custody as well at that point in time. Even very recently, there was an operation conducted in this particular uh, DJ Haldi and KJ Haldi area by the police, where uh, they uh, once again detained several people for questioning. More importantly, uh, you know, uh, in multiple cases and multiple instances, the police, uh, you know, have said there have been links with the PFI. Uh, the Home Minister, uh, be it the then Home Minister, Mr. Baswaraj Bomai, uh, who is now the current Chief Minister, or uh, Mr. Arga Gyanandra, both of them have mentioned that there is a need to ban this organization and there is an intent uh, in the government to ban it as well. Uh, right now, you know, even in Karnataka, we are looking at Koppal, Kalburgi, Chikbalapur, Devanali. Uh, we are looking at searches that even took place in Bagal Court, where multiple, uh, you know, leaders, these are like Bhaptosh has been pointing out for us, uh, you know, the second, third, fourth rung leaders who are uh, in charge of, you know, participating, bringing in, uh, you know, crowds uh, and ens ensuring that the entire, uh, uh, you know, organization functions in a particular manner. Now, these are the people who have been targeted in today's, you know, raids. More raids have been going on from as early as one in many of these areas. Uh, most of uh, uh, the searches and raids are completed. Many of them, of course, detained. And, uh, you know, information is awaited as to what uh, information they've got from these people. Uh, apart from, you know, uh, just questioning them, there will also be evidence collection in terms of phones, uh, in terms of laptops and other evidences that they collect from their residences or offices. And also, apart from that, you know, uh, information with regard to funds that they're receiving because the enforcement directorate, of course, keenly looked into that particular aspect because they, uh, in, uh, in some of the information that they put out, did mention that the funding that the PFI got was used in terror-related activities. So these are some crucial aspects which will be a part of the investigation that's ongoing here in Karnataka now. Okay.